Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. And in this video, I figured I'd help you with your House of Wolves preparation by explaining exactly what you'll need to do to hit level 34 as quickly as possible. And what's more, if you have multiple characters or you are just really lucky and RNGs are smiles on you, then you could even do it on day one. So, firstly, as mentioned, level 34 is the new light level cap and endgame armor now carries a light stat of 42, meaning that in order to hit level 34, you will need a total of 168 light. But the question is, how do you do this as quickly as possible? Well, the very first thing you are going to want to do on day one is upgrade an exotic piece of armor. In order to upgrade an exotic piece of armor, you will need 1,500 glimmer, 25 of the character class specific materials, that's plasteel plating for titans, Sapphire Wire for Hunters, and Hadronic Essence for Warlocks. And lastly, you will need one Exotic Shard. Most of you should have more than enough of all of these items by now, so that means the second you load into the game, you can already upgrade one of these armor pieces, which will put you at 32.5, halfway to level 33. However, before you upgrade it, make sure you fly to the Reef and speak to Varax the Loyal, to see what armor piece he is selling that week, because that too is going to be integral to your leveling process. So if he sells gauntlets, there's no point also upgrading your exotic gauntlets, because you're going to have an overlap. Next up, step 2, the Prison of Elders. Now, in order to actually be able to enter the prison, you have to have completed the story missions. So, first up, speak to Petrovenge, get them all cleared up, and then once the prison becomes available to you, complete it on level 32. This will result in a guaranteed armor core drop, which you can then exchange at Varix for a piece of endgame gear. Level this up by completing a few bounties, and you'll be level 33. Congratulations! Step 3. Next up, you want to head back into the Prison of Elders and take on the level 34 version. Now for this, you are going to need two friends that are also level 33. It's already going to be hard enough given that you are underleveled, meaning that there will be a penalty to your damage, so bringing a level 32 with you is just going to hurt your chances. Successfully complete this, and you'll not only net yourself a weapon core, which you can exchange at Varrex for a nice new Prison of Elders gun, but you will also get one etheric light, which you can use to upgrade one of your old pieces of legendary gear to the new light level cap. It doesn't have to be raid gear, it can be whatever you want so long as it's legendary. Now you are level 33.5, halfway to level 34. And now you have two choices, and this is where your progress is going to be slightly halted. See the last bit of this guide and the key to hitting level 34 on day one is either having multiple characters or being extremely lucky. See, if you stick on the same character, then your next move would be to take part in the weekly Nightfall, which has a chance, emphasis on chance, of dropping Etheric Light. If you are lucky, and it drops, then you can upgrade another piece of Legendary Gear, hit level 34, and you can now stand in the Reef or the Tower, feeling proud of yourself, ready to take on the Prison of Elders level 35 and the Trials of Osiris on Friday. However, in the event that RNG just hates you, and the Nightfall gives you Ascendant Shards, then your next move is to switch to your second character. Now if your second character is the same class, like me, I have three hunters, then your job is even easier. You simply transfer your gear from your first hunter to your second, complete the story missions again, and then go straight into the level 34 Prison of Elders gear. You then get your next etheric light, and voila! Send that back to your first character, ascend another piece of legendary armor, and again, congratulations, you are level 34. However, in the event that your second character is a different class, then transferring gear is of course not an option so your path will be a little bit longer. It will involve you needing to repeat the first few steps again, so you'll need to ascend an exotic armor piece, complete the story missions, then Prison of Elders on level 32 before you can do level 34. But again, once you do all of that, you will have your etheric light, which you can then switch back to your main, upgrade, and voila, you are now at level 34. And that, my friends, is how you hit max level on day one. Once you've done that, you can venture into the Prison of Elders level 35 and see what wonders it has to offer, or you can be a friendly guardian and go back and help your friends out. Either way, let me know in the comments down below if you are going to be aiming for level 34 on day 1. And thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.